Yeah, uh, the 40 minutes was completed for Zoom, so it was disconnected. So this is the uh, purchase equation was generated based on the sales order, right? So now we are going to create a purchase order to the external vendor, but the delivery address should be customer. How the system is taken automatically, let me show you that. ME21N, where we can create the purchase order. This is the vendor number. So I'm maintaining it here. And purchase group and company code. So we are creating with reference to purchase location, right? See here. Uh, purchase location number. What is the purchase location number? This is right. On enter. So it is asking for the uh, price. Uh, let's take around uh, one hundred rupees. Right, it is a net loss total. Let's take it for one eighty rupees. And if you go to the delivery address, see it will show the, the customer address, not the plant address. Okay, here we maintain the plant but it is taking the customer number so the vendor is delivering to customer okay click on save this is the purchase order now okay now we are not going to do the migo transaction like goose ship because it is a without shipping notification process so whenever the vendor give invoice to us then we will do the billing document to billing to the customer right so go to myro directly so and let me give the invoice date as today's date and what is the purchase order number this is it and also let me select taxes as well zero percent tax no tax available and so the amount is 190 and the quantity is thousand quantity we ordered to vendor and it is already delivered to the customer vendor is giving the invoice to us so we need to pay this much amount to the vendor Okay, now click on post. So, invoice was created. Now we need to do the billing to the customer. Okay, because we are paid to vendor, now we are going to take the amount from customer, right? So, we need to do billing to the customer. The transaction code is VF01 to create the Building to the vendor. Here you need to maintain the sale order number because we maintain sales document based on the sales document. We maintain the building right. So we need to maintain the sales order number here and click on enter. Not even, no problem. Come enter. Enter. This is the third part item. And if you want to see the price of it, go to conditions and go to time. You can see the building. See? Okay. And now click on save. See, building document was generated. Okay. 
so this is how we do the process for third party and based on the without shipping notification okay do you have any questions are guys understand addam ainda evana questions unnai see here what we we have done we created one sale order based on that the pr will be generated automatically because we set up in configuration for schedule lines is cs based on that the pr generated and then we created a purchase order to the vendor but the delivery address is customer address so then vendor delivers it to the customer but we do not know about it because whether vendor is delivered or not we do not know because the vendor is whenever the vendor is sends an invoice to us then only we know that goods is delivered to customer right so whenever goods is delivered to customer when we send a invoice to us so that we need to enter that invoice in our system based on that the fi people will do the payment activity to the vendor now we got the invoice then our the goods also delivered to customer then we need to do the billing to the customer so then based on this myro we need to do the invoice to the customer okay this is the process flow of third party which is nothing but mmst integration any questions mode of hello so okay. here i will give you a small assignment okay please do this concept and also please do this with shipping notification here what the small difference is the same process okay but here you are doing the mygo myro process right here you need to do the mygo process that's it that is a small difference you do the goods ship and then you get directly do the billing document without any myro transaction but here you need to do the small configuration change that is uh do you remember that uh, we have done uh billing relevance and billing quantity as f f right do you remember billing yeah, quantity yes. and billing relevance is f and f there you need to take as g okay g billing relevance as g during item category i will show you that don't have much time let me quickly go to configuration sales and distribution go to sales and distribution and then go to sales documents here you need to go for sales document item here you can see item category tax okay we can details here what is the billing relevance as f right here you need to take as g okay see f means what based on the invoice okay vendor invoice here based on the delivered quantity means we need to do the mygo here okay that is the difference okay please select as g and then also we need to do some other activity as well copying controls here is a billing talk go to building and here you need to go for building documents and maintain copying control copy control sales to building document sales document to building document here we ending we are doing the sales document to building document right let me check in a minute
over and sales document type is uh, sorry over is the sales document type and billing type is f2 go to the details item tax here we given billing quantity as f right need to take goods as a quantity p e. okay that is the difference okay you need to take z e we take an ff right now we are going to take as z e and z e this can also try change okay you know doubts and then not again okay anything else okay then i will end this session okay thank you okay Thank you.